hello there welcome into the channel this is sage sunset healing tarot thank you so much for being here and i do hope you are doing well in this time thank you so much for liking the video for sharing the messages with those you love and for subscribing to the channel so if you have not yet subscribed do hit the subscribe button your support is abundantly appreciated thank you for being here I'm about to get some general feeling messages out for you and because these are general messages they may not all apply to all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest just let them fly away to someone else I'm gonna be talking to you about dealing with some someone that you lost a loved one so maybe you want to connect with this person the channel is open for you i feel like you had a very intimate connection with this person the channel is open for communication and then you start to hear you start you start to con communicate and then i feel like you end up in a space where you stop believing you're communicating you start doubting the communication and then you end up getting overwhelmed by the communication, the playing over of memories, thoughts, feelings, shame, guilt. So it's almost like you want to communicate and you want to get past this phase. But each time you get there, you're, you're repeating a cycle. You get to talking to this person. And then you start crying. You start remembering the bad things that happened. So you start crying and crying and crying. The thing about that energy. And so it's almost like you end up nowhere. You don't really find healing. For the one that you've lost. The thing about that is that. The energy of this person. The one you've lost. They are waiting on you. Are they waiting for you? And they're just, they're, they're patient. You know what I mean? They're patiently waiting for you to end this cycle. It's almost like whenever you're ready to communicate, to be here, I'm here. But it's almost like they can't help you. You can help, only help yourself because each time you go to release, you end up going, I would say, go backwards because there isn't really any progress. Because you're really in the same emotions. What you can do is learn how to detach from the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings, the memories that haunt. And I want you to also realize that you're not being judged or blamed or held responsible for anything. You know what I mean? By this person that you've lost in the other realm. They don't hold you accountable. They, they really do hope though that you get through the situation. They really hope that you get to heal and meet them where they truly are. Because they're up in some galactic realm really. Sitting on something just waiting for you. And this person is neither. It's not sad. But they're not really, I wouldn't say they're happy, but they're not sad. They, they feel like a friend that's waiting on you to come by. And they know you're living through the cycles. What message do I have for you now? Oh yeah, so the energy in that message was what next? What next? So you know what next? After you blame yourself and then you cry, you get upset, what next? And then what next? And I want you to keep saying, saying to yourself, what next, what next, what next, what next? Because for some people, it's hard to move on. I don't know how to share this with you, but I'm going to. I did this reading yesterday to connect with my sister, my little sister. She died in 2018. anyway so um there was something it was it was universal the connection i had with her it's something that i can share with you guys it's almost like she kept saying to me yes 
yes you're gonna be crying but what next you're gonna every time you want to speak to me you're gonna feel the same emotions but what next what do you do next and i was like well there's nothing left to do but cry and to mourn and to feel your loss and then she was like so what next and i knew i had to continue living i have to it's almost like she's waiting on me to continue living or to so there was something else but the message i felt I, yeah i got even deeper into feeling like i've had dreams before of losing her years ago like i've had dreams where i'm living and i know something is missing from my life and when waking up from those dreams it's horrible because you know you have this feeling but you can't really put together what was lost so doing that reading connect trying to connect with her i just found that like maybe i've already always known some place in me so it's maybe accept always known that there's going to be a time when i would be without i would feel this feeling of loss like this and um maybe that will help to help me to release so whatever i'm holding on to still surrounding her passing also oh maybe that's what you know I, I, I used to blame myself about it because i wanted to heal her she had lupus i wanted to heal her with spanish needle but i didn't have enough faith to say that i feel like i could heal her even though i maybe couldn't have but i've always dealt with that i like you know that's something i i travel with but when I did that reading, I felt like she was showing me how to travel. Like there's, there's going to come a time when I actually accept it. Accept her not being physically here. And um, for me, that feels like a dream I've had a long time ago about being way in the future. Because I was saying, the only way I can really accept this. Is, is a time that is unimaginable and I can remember it in a dream I've had of not being with her with her but somehow being stronger as if I've aligned with her now more powerfully and we are now one literally that's how I felt but this was some like far in in my dream when I was having this dream it felt like <clears throat> this was far far in the future like when I'm talking about spaceships and galactic realms and I felt like I was maybe on a spaceship and I had a duty to perform and I just and, and, and she strengthened me in the duty I had like she's become a part of me. And so I through that reading I got to realize that I don't have to leave her or feel like I have to let her go but allow her to become a part of me. A part of my one my wholesomeness and the healing that I have to do with myself and she, her energy is beautiful I always think of my sister as Zena the warrior princess she's a Virgo she's younger than I am but she was 20 something she was about to be 21 in 2018 and and she's so warrior like so I feel like the energy I felt of myself in the future, I had definitely collaborated with her energy. It spoke of bravery, outspokenness, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> I literally feel like in the future, um, there's coming a time when she'll be speaking to me right here. She's really smart. You know what I mean? There's coming a time when we can hold the people that we've lost like right here. And we can literally sense them as they guide us. And I feel like that's what they're waiting for. They're, not that they're sitting there waiting, but when they pass through certain dimensions of death and so on, I feel like their energy or the purpose, some, something about why they were in our lives, their spirit is still lingering for us to align with it. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I, and I feel it. I feel it so the, the most um, so what I want you to get is because for me what was dominant in the message is what's next what's next what are you going to do next because for me the cards were in a cycle like 
all right i want to communicate with you no i'm communicating with you no i feel sad no i'm going nowhere because i'm crying again and i'm stuck in my feelings and it's just a cycle but the portal to connecting is always open always open to connect with her like i can speak with her anytime i feel but it's me that's it's this thing in the past that i hold on to maybe the experience or what happened the loss the regrets you know what i mean instead of the lessons and instead of seeing her energy for why she is as if she's really waiting on me to start to start working with her to make use of her presence of her spirit it's so beautiful like she's sitting here like not here but there i don't know where she is <laughs> and she's waiting for me like but she's not impatient you know she understands that i have to get to that part and you know So that was that. That is that for that message for you. For those of you who've lost someone that you've always held dear or something like that, and you have guilt and fear, just think, what next? So after I keep blaming myself, what next? You have to continue living. And it got deep for me because the what next question made me like, what do I want to do because of these feelings I'm having? What do I want to put out in this world? What next because of the loss of my sister? What next? What, what do I want to do? And for me, it felt like I just, I wanted to do something that she would want. I, I ended up seeing myself in greenery because she loved life. So I feel like I could take myself there to this place. I don't know where that is. A place where there's a lot of bushes around me. And she'd be so pleased for me to take her there, even though it's me that's going there. And she'd be happy that I got there. I feel like she also wants one thing the most if i could do it and that is something about our family unit the unit of our family and maybe our home you know so like what next the the, the intent the feeling of sadness you have specifically for that particular person that you lost what does it want you to do what is it compelling you to do what changes in this world what is the effect of someone's death? What acts does it want you to take? You know what I mean? To become what? Because it's opening up an emotion for us to become something. You know, what do you felt? What do you feel like you've lost? Can you give that to the world? What were you missing? You know what I mean? Can you think of your, the person that you've lost energy? How they want to live, especially as it relates to you and them, their energy together. As, uh, I feel like my sister just loves us to travel together and see new things and dress up and have fun and cook and make jokes and come here and just live. And I feel like that's how she would live through me, in a sense, to keep herself here alive. Not that we're trying to keep them here, but I, I hope I'm explaining it well enough for you. The, the essence I got from that message, it's kind of releasing. It breaks me from the cycle of every time I think about her or want to connect with her, I cry. I break down horribly. <laughs> But then I got to the energy, so what next? After you cry for years and years, because I can imagine myself crying for years, for 50 years, but what next? What do I become because of this loss? All right, so that's what I have for you. I hope you learned something or you found some messages here that inspires you and is able to help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share, subscribe, leave a comment. I love you so much. Remember that you are all and all is within you, right? 